It's actually pretty cool up here with the fog. Because it's also like the setting of a very scary movie where we're both about to get murdered. Our names are Mike and Heather. We spent the summer converting our Ford Transit Connect into a camper van with the ultimate goal of traveling to all 50 states. We have already been on one epic road trip and now that our van has been finished, we're ready to set out on another. Subscribe and join us as we explore the US and try to figure out this whole van life thing. As always, thanks for watching. Side, I don't need to know if your mind don't care what tomorrow holds. Good morning from Vermont. We are in the town of Bennington. We ha have kind of an overcast day, and we're really excited to do the Vermont 100 drive up. And we're kind of hoping for a brighter day to do so. So, we're gonna wait and do that tomorrow. And today, instead, we're gonna take the opportunity to kind of get some things done around the van. Number one on the list is an oil change. Hi, I had wanted to see if you had time to do an oil change today. All right, sounds good. Thank you very much. So that was a quick oil change. And now we're gonna go on to our next tour, which is doing the laundry. All right, it's laundry time. Just live in the moment with me. Cause honey, you and I got all that we need. From the first kiss, your lips had a hold on me. And our hearts race, but what's the hurry? We can't stop the clock from circling. We got some candy. Where's a red one? See, like, you can't even get any out. You where's can't our, take some red ones. Those where's a red one? So, we've got to kill 20 minutes. Now we should try to be a little bit productive and find a campsite for the night. Molly Stark State Park. Maybe if we go there, we can see if there's any availability. It says walk up. Okay, then let's just do that after. So that's the plan? Yep. Okay. Ah. campsite now? Yep. See if we can get a spot yeah. and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Run! <laughs> we have left Bennington and we're heading over to Molly Stark State Park where I think we're going to try and get a campsite to, to stay at overnight. The reason being if you look out the window it's raining pretty good but What's really exciting is you can see all of the beautiful Vermont fall colors. We've got oranges and reds and yellows and some green left. So this is exactly what we were hoping for. We're gonna put off starting our Vermont 100 drive for a day, hopefully get some sunshine to just make it a little bit more of an enjoyable experience, be able to get out and explore some of the stops along the way. That's, That's gonna be us. Tomorrow. <laughs> I'm so excited. Hopefully they have a spot for us. Hi, are you doing Hi. Good? good, how are you? All right, how can I help you? Uh, we were gonna see if you had any openings. Yeah, we do. Awesome. Um, All set? Yes. I don't know if we'll want to do it today because it's raining, but there is a eight tenths of a mile hike to a lookout tower. Ooh, that's cool. The trail part near us is muddy, but if we leave from down here by the parking lot, I think just like over here, you would just hike up here and there's the top of Mount Olga and there's like the lookout tower. That's cool, we should do that. So I guess we're gonna hike now <laughs> in the pouring rain. We're waiting for the rain to maybe die down, but in the meantime, we're actually having our lunch because we haven't gotten around to that yet. So cereal it is. It was our warehouse. But I think we're gonna just do the whole trail because either way it's gonna be a there and back So this one just makes it a loop. This is the hike to the top of Mount Oga You actually take it right from the campsite we're in. It's really not a super long hike It's really pretty and I'm glad that we did the hike even though it's raining But the coolest thing about it is there's like a fire tower Lookout that you can climb from the top of the mountain and get great views. So we're really excited about that You lift me up I'll follow you to the end of the earth I think this path is actually really cool. There's like a lot of tree roots and the uphill is really nice so far.
Wow, look how red these are. I know, they're really cool. I brought all the memories out. Headed toward the setting of sun. Those are. That's really neat. I think it's kind of cool seeing it in the rain because all of the like low parts of the path are filled with water and we're going uphill so we're doing some nice like streams coming down. Finally's another season, I'll let it go. Oh, oh, oh. So just like walking through here, it has such like a Enchanted Woods like fairy tale vibe. The way that the trail is and just all of it is really cool. You could see this in a cool animated movie or something like that, like a Miyazaki film. And we have to be getting close to the top because we've been on this trail for a little while. And we're probably moving slower than normal because of the rain, but I have a feeling that we're, we're close. That's and the there it is. <laughs> so cool. All right, that's the top. To the top. It's a good thing it's not lightning at the current moment. Because <laughs> this is solid metal. I remember when my mother told me the best things they don't come easy. I had no idea how real that was. She said, don't stop dreaming. You got to keep believing. This is tree line. And I still got a little bit to go. I can't believe I made it. I can't believe I made it. It's actually pretty cool up here with the fog. We don't get much of a view of the surrounding areas, but the tree line with all the fog behind it is actually pretty cool. Except it's also like the setting of a very scary movie where we're both about to get murdered. Oh, 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 I can't believe I made it. I can't believe I made it. And I'm on my way. And back on solid ground. Got my umbrella back and ready to do the last half of this hike. I think we're gonna do the less muddy route now. Yeah, so we're gonna do a full loop instead of a there and back. Yeah, because the park ranger said that the way that we came originally we might want to avoid because it's muddy, but challenge accepted. Now we're gonna go do the nice leisurely one back yeah. that's less muddy. I am glad I was a little bit hesitant to do the muddy path, but I think Heather convinced me and like the, the views that we got on that one were totally worth it. I'm glad we went that way. A little mud never hurt anyone. I know. Almost there. We see buildings. I think that's the ranger station up ahead, so almost out of the woods. The first half of the hike was definitely better than the second half, but both beautiful nonetheless. Now we're gonna head back up to the van and get our shower stuff, even though we're soaked and probably don't even need a shower at this point, but <laughs> We're in desperate need of soap. And peeking through the trees is our van. We prepared our shower bag so that way when we got back from the hike we can just grab it and go. So that's what we're gonna do now because we knew we'd probably be covered in mud and super wet and all things being outdoors. <laughs> We're showered and ready for bed now. I feel much better after after finally getting cleaned up. We went into the town of Bloomington for a quick bite to eat for dinner and now we're getting ready for bed. Hopefully we're gonna be up early tomorrow to hit the road on Vermont Route 100. Um, we'll be using that Gypsy app, which is really great. I think that's it for us tonight. Tomorrow we are going to be beginning our Route 100 road trip north, so we should have a good couple days on that stretch of road. And it's hopefully no rain, although it is nice to fall asleep to the sound of that tonight. So. Yeah. Good night. Bye, bye, bye.